Time to discuss. Hey guys, it's Taylor Claypack back in again with another video, and today we are going to be discussing the Graveyard Shift teaser for Spirit Halloween for this year. And yes, that is what you saw in the beginning of this video. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually pretty excited for this. And I'm gonna go on YouTube for this too, just so I can actually slow it down. And if you go on that site, you know, with spirithalloween.com slash the graveyard shift, you'll still see the timer, but you'll also see the teaser there as well. And how I found out about it was I was actually, uh, I joined a call. Next thing that happens, all I hear is, Taylor, Wacky Mole is back. And I was like, what really and then next thing that happens you know i got told to go on that link and that's what i did and then i saw the teaser and yeah so i figured i'd do a quick video on it i'm probably not gonna know what to say for some of this but uh we'll we'll try and see how this goes i figured why not do a video on it now i am going to be screen recording this too at first i have to you know uh, slow down the playback speed. That's just so that I could, you know, just go over some of the shots just in case if I have anything to say about it. But, um, yeah, so I guess let's go. Now we are going to be screen recording. Now, let's try and go over this. Okay, so this right here is the first shot. Now, the first thing that popped in my head when I saw this was John Doe. And, you know, it just kind of, uh, makes me wonder if there's gonna be, like, another one coming out or something unless they're like making a whole new dead body prop i have no idea it's pretty cool like how it also like has some of the blood there too but yeah that's just kind of the first thing that came to mind so i mean i don't know if maybe it's like doing some sort of a a throwback or if you know that pro like that props coming back or something like that you know what i mean uh i i don't know but anyway let's just kind of go to the next shot here now this, uh, you know, has a bunch of popcorn and a bunch of cobwebs and it looks like some sort of a control thing or control panel or something right there, I don't know. But I wonder if that has something to do with like the factory theme because, you know, I've been hearing a lot about um, like that might be the theme this year unless they're doing multiple themes. I have no idea. Now this right here looks like a whole like surgery room or something and that looks like the dead body prop. and. Like I said, kind of the same thing makes me wonder if it's another like John Doe or something. But that is a very interesting shot too, you know, it's cool how it has the whole surgery room, you know, and there's a bunch of like, it looks like blood. Very interesting. Okay, now this looks like some sort of a deer skull, something satanic or something going on here. And I don't know what that thing is in the back, if that's like some, like a rock and the lights hitting it or what that is. I have no idea like that orange thing. Now this is that uh, Good Times clown doll, so it makes me wonder if they're bringing it back or something or what. Now the other thing on the left looks like another doll. And then the thing in the middle looks like some sort of a cloth or something, I don't know. Unless it's like a neck thing for another small clown doll or something. I, I have no idea because it, you know, it has the circle and then it has the rest of it, you know, just kind of like all how it is i don't know and then there's all the cobwebs so i you know i i'm not really sure of what to say about this part now the balloons i don't really know what to say about this it makes me wonder if it has something to do with the clowns <laughs> maybe actually maybe something to do with henry hustle in some way i'm not really sure what to say about this i don't really have too much to say on it now this right here definitely reminds me of henry hustle right here because you know it has the cards and you know in my last video i did go over henry hustle you know and i did say that you know he's a it looks like he's a card player because you know he's holding cards in his hands so it would totally make sense of course and i think i'm just gonna go on and guess here that that's probably his shoe he has black shoes because you know that's kind of my theory on that one now this right here um you know, that looks like a doll that we might have seen before on the right there. There's a whole lot of cobwebs and looks like some creepy cloth. And then it's a little bit to the top left, kind of, if you could, if you know what I'm talking about. It looks like that might be some other prop, but I am not really sure. I would guess that's probably some other prop that might be 
coming this year. Now this, uh, I'm not really sure what to say about it. It's a very interesting shot though. I mean, it's a skeleton who looks like he's uh, chained up and then there are knives already just there, you know what I mean? Very interesting shot. I'm not, I'm not really sure what to say about it. Now this right here, that legit looks like Crouchy, just except he has no hair and it's like really weird. I'm not really sure what to say about it. It looks like some sort of like a old like crouchy blueprint or something. I don't know. Now this right here uh, looks like a doll and then there's a teddy bear and uh, some other stuffed animal to the left of her or something. And then it looks like a creepy cloth to the left. I'm not really sure what to say about it. Now this right here like takes you back to, it seems like it takes you back to the surgery room. You know, we it le actually looks kind of gross. It looks like, what is that, a finger? And then there's a ear, or two, is that two ears? Brains and like a heart or something, or organs, I don't know. But yeah, that just takes me back to the whole John Doe thing, or unless it's another, some sort of another like dead body prop, I, 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 I don't know what to say about that part. Now this right here, obviously, you know, Wacky Mole is coming back and I'm sure a lot of people are actually pretty psyched about it. I'm pretty psyched about it. I definitely cannot wait to see what comes out of this. It looks like they still use the original, like, face mold. But who knows what else is, uh, what else is there. It makes me wonder, are there gonna be, like, any sort of differences? Is he still... You know, I don't know. I'm really excited to see it. This makes me think of something having to do with like a graveyard straight up, you know, considering the fact that there is a shovel just, you know, going right into the dirt. And then this right here too. I mean, it looks like something is just like grabbing a leg. I wonder if it's like some other kind of dead or dying human. I have no idea what to say about this. But um, yeah, I mean, that's really it for like with the teaser. I, I you could tell I kind of didn't really know what to say because it's like, of course, a teaser, but <laughs> I am really excited, you know, for what's in store for Spirit Halloween and stuff, and I can't wait to see the uh, new props that are coming out and everything. As I said in my last video too, when I talked about those blueprints with uh, Henry Hustle and Mr. Howell, I'm really excited to see those, but I am more excited to see the Henry Hustle, I'll admit. <laughs> It's just because of how like unique he is and like I said he is probably like the most unique clown prop that's ever been seen, you know, in my personal opinion. Especially like with the fact, you know, he, there's his face and then he has a head like on his, like another head and then he's got a hat on top and that's just crazy. I like that's something that's never been seen before. I'm sure it'll be very interesting in a very cool way. Like I said about Wacky Mole, I'm really excited, you know, to see Wacky Mole come back. I don't know, like I, I'm, like I said, you know, they still use the original face mold, looks like, and, you know, it makes me wonder, like, is, I, actually, you know what? I do wonder if he might like move his mallet or something this time, or just if there will be any like little bits of differences. Maybe I don't know. I'm really excited to also see that. uh, corpse prop or whatever and you know it's it's interesting because it makes me wonder if it'll be like some sort of another throwback with John Doe as I've said of course I have been hearing a lot about it like being some sort of like a factory type a theme but I don't know I guess regardless we are gonna have to wait and see and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video that's really all I have to say I didn't really have to say too much but um yeah, I mean, overall, I could just say that I am very excited for what's in store for this year. And I do have a really good feeling about it. I feel like it'll be a good year. And I'm sure a lot of us are actually pretty psyched to see everything. But, um, yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss a post from me. I definitely want to go back to Spirit so bad this year. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.